Okay, so in this session I'm going to show you how to add a health bar to your tank. So I've got a regular tank game here. Uh, I'll just show you how it runs right now. I've got my player, which is a green tank. I have an enemy player, which is a red tank. The red tank is just following a set path and firing con constantly. Um, my tank gets destroyed after one hit. Once I get hit, then uh, it just restarts the game. And you see one hit destroys him too. What I want to do is I want to add a health bar onto my green tank. That way, well, it just takes more than one hit. And you may want to use this for any of your other games as well. So to do this, I'm in my green tank object. I'm looking at my collision event of object bullet. And right now, uh, I've got here where it destroys the bullet. But rather than destroying the instance, I'm uh, jumping to another position off the screen and then setting alarm 0 to 90. 90 steps, it's 30 steps a second, so it's about 3 seconds. Once that alarm goes off, it restarts the game. That gives it a feeling of like, you know, it's not an instant restart the game, but it gives it time for the animation to show that I got destroyed in that. Um, so I'm going to take these out. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start doing these in, in code as well. And rather than this, we want I'm going to create a health bar. Now to do that, we're going to have to create a variable. So I'm going to initiate that in my create event. Drag a code block in and give it a name. It can be anything. I'm going to call it tank health. And uh, for this, I'm going to give it a value of 30. Often you can give it 100 or whatever you like. But uh, just because of the size that I want it, I want a fairly small health bar. I'm going to make it 30. Now, I'm going to go back on my collision event with object bullet and drag a code block in. And every time I got, get hit, I'm going to adjust my tank health variable. Minus, let's say, 10. So that way it takes about three hits for me to die. Now, if my tank health is less than 1, in other words, if it gets to 0 um, or less, then I'm going to set my x to be negative 20,000, y equals negative 20,000, and I'm going to set my alarm 0 to be 90. So that's exactly the same, but just done in code instead. All right, so now my tank health variable is changing. And once it reaches below 1, then I will, should get destroyed. And we can actually test it now and see that it works. What you won't see yet is a health bar. 1, 2, 3. 3 hits, and then it restarts. So that works. Now let's make the health bar. To do this, you need to create a new object. I'm going to call this OBJ Tank Health Bar. And I only need one event, and that's the draw event. In my draw event, I'm going to drag in a code block. Uh, we first need to decide on what color our health bar is going to be. And so I'm going to go draw, set, color and let's let's make it green and now after we set our color we can make a rectangle oops not set rectangle just draw rectangle there we go that's the one we want and you need to specify uh, and uh, two XY positions one for the, I believe it's the top left point, and then one for the bottom right point. So the top left point, I'm going to set it to, we can refer to the XY of our tank. So I'm going to type in my obj green tank dot x, obj green tank dot y, and then how far across do I want it to be? I'm going to go obj green tank dot x. So start at that point plus 
green tank dot. Uh, I think it was, was it tank health, I believe, was the variable. So that's going to start at that x position and increase the whole width of tank health. My y, I'm going to again start with the y position, and I'm just going to go increase it by maybe 10, even smaller, maybe 5. Finally, you need to choose, is this going to be an outline or solid? I'm going to make this one solid, so I'm going to put false. And I'm also going to go draw rectangle and basically copy that except this one I'm going to make true and rather than adding the variable I'm just going to add 30 that way it's the outline is going to start the f at full health and that will stay there and then as my actual the solid bar starts to shrink, as my tank health variable shrinks, you'll see by how much my health's been going down. Let's take a look. Now you're gonna have to experiment a fair bit to get the position right. Oh, and I forgot one last thing. You gotta put it in the room. Tank health bar. Now let's try it. Okay, so there I've got a health bar. Notice it's behind my tank, but as you get hit, it goes down. So let's readjust this. First of all, let's make my depth negative 1. That should put it above it. And we can also adjust uh, where it's positioned. And what I'm going to do is just subtract, let's say 15, that's half the width of the health bar, and maybe add only 15 there, minus 15, and that's minus 15 there, because that's going to be the x position plus 30, which is my tank health, I'm going to reduce it down to this amount, which is minus 15. My y, let's bring move it up a bit. So let's go minus 20, minus 20, and instead let's go minus 15, minus 15. So you basically just have to use use your math skills and figure out by how much do you want to adjust your x and y for each corner of the rectangle. Let's see how it looks now. There it is, and notice that it's uh, above my sprite, so it doesn't disappear. Now when I collide with the tank, that's a one-shot dis destruction still. But and when I get hit by a bullet, it still takes three hits, and you can see my health bar going down incrementally. There we go, and that's how you add health bars.